Good morning, everybody. Day 82. We just left Bemis Mountain Lean 2 area. It was really, really quiet there. So, I had a great spot. I faced away from like everything. So, all I could see is like the woods, which is nice. And I'm going to try to get to Rangeley today. Route 4. It's like almost 18 miles away. But I get an earlier start than I did yesterday. It's like 6.40 right now, I do believe. Um, yeah, and we're just going to mosey our way to Rangeley. We're going to drop down to Main 17. Actually, we're going to drop down to Bemis Mountain Road. Oop. And then we're going to go up to Route 17. And then we're just going to... All these nice little ponds and lakes and... It's actually going to be a beautiful day. No wow views, really. No height of land. Route 17, there's a really good view there. But other than that, we're going to be walking around ponds today. Super cool. And I guess that's the rundown for the day. Rangely is the goal. We will see. I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I touch back with the cool stuff and the views, you know, just like I do, baby. Let's go enjoy it. How beautiful up here. We're gonna walk through this open little area like this for a little bit. And then we're gonna drop down to Bemis Mountain Road. There's blueberries all over the top of this mountain. I'm having a problem getting anywhere. <laughs> There's a comment on gut hooks that says it best. Um, the mile on top of Bemis on the balds took them longer than the Mahusik Notch because they stopped cop stopping and picking blueberries and eating them. <laughs> I can see that. This top of this mountain is flooded with blueberries. <sighs> How beautiful this is. Bemis Mountain Road. Things were almost dropped all the way down to the bottom of the gully. And then, uh. My place. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna go up to Hyde Land, Route 17. It's a cool little bench there with a great view. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, there's supposed to be water down here too, so I think I'm going to get some water and then push up to main 17. <sighs> Nothing that I really would care about. I want to know farther. What's farther? 1.1 <laughs> miles ahead. I guess it is a road. There's At that road, there's probably another sign. And another one. The 
Okay, I think I got my route figured out over this thing. There's gonna be a couple spots where I'm gonna be glad I had Olympuses on because I can actually step on a rock with water going over it. And my shoe does not get wet because the soles are so big on these things. Whew. Made it. This looks like excellent water. So, you know I'm getting water here. And then we'll push up to Route 17. Toughest climb of my day. Climbing up to a road. That's rare. <laughs> Usually you drop down to roads. Not this one. It's because this road has a beautiful view. It's a really scenic drive too. Alright. We're almost done with it. I can hear the cars. Oh, somebody left a trekking pole. It's not good. <sighs> this is pretty much the view you get at height of land. Let me zoom you in, point some things out for you. I'm pretty sure this is Bemis. Actually, this might be Bemis second peak. That might be Bemis. Or that could be Blue Mountain. That could be Bemis. <laughs> Guess I'm unsure. But this is the view you get from high to land, pretty much. I'm not gonna go to the parking lot, but this is what you get. It's beautiful. Yeah, just came over all that. And drop way down, boom, and climb back up here. <clears throat> yeah, so there's no reason for me to go to the parking lot. Usually I go to the parking lot because Oh, Katie's there. <laughs> but she's not there today. Yeah, we gotta go across this road. And then we're gonna go up just a little bit more. And then we're pretty much, road noise. We're pretty much just rolling hills after that. How awesome. Oh, trails right here. I didn't do the guardrail here so we could go through. How nice of them. That's just random, random jar of pickles. There's no way I'm sticking my hand in that jar of pickles. Who knows how many dirty fingers have been in there. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> All right, let's finish this little bit of a climb. And then we walk by a bunch of ponds and lakes and beautiful things.
That's where we came from. The trail's gonna look like this a lot today. Just pop out to some cool ponds, maybe a lake, I forget. Can't really tell the difference up here in Maine. Their ponds look like lakes and some lakes look like ponds. Yeah, we got some cool bodies of water coming up today. I think I got 13 miles left to get to Route 4. Still fairly early. I should be able to be there by... Should be able to hit Route 4 by 3 or... or yeah, 3 o'clock maybe. Jeez. Crazy. <laughs> See, don't go around it. Go where you're supposed to go. <laughs> uh, people crack me up. Go around the hard stuff. Whatever. If you're looking for easy, you're probably on the wrong trail. <laughs> Moxie Pond. Hey there, little buddy. What you doing? Do it. Jump for me. <laughs> Look at that. Sabbath day pond. We're actually going to walk right around this corner of it. We're actually going to walk. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll get real close to it. Close enough that if I really wanted to, I could jump in and go swimming. It's a beautiful little beach area. Oh, <laughs> sketchy downhill. Yeah. That's where we're going though. We're gonna drop down to Sabbath Day Pond. <clears throat> For years, I used to call it Black Sabbath for some reason. <laughs> All right, down we go. Sabbath day pond. Beautiful. And there's people at the beach area. So I didn't film there too much. I took like a, oh, there's a shirt hanging up here. I took like a little video of the water over the beach, but all you can hear is this in the background. It looks way prettier when people aren't talking. <laughs> Hook. Walking right next to Sabbath Pond. Looked like the shelter had a bunch of uh, 
high school kids are super loud when I went by there. <laughs> Am I glad I didn't go there last night? Interesting. Nice. All right. So I just left Swift Run Pond camping area. <laughs> There's like a pipe spring there as well as a pond. Pipe spring's a lot better, of course. She's dry. So instead of getting pond water this time, I'm gonna go up here to this next water source, like a mile away. And I'm gonna probably do a coffee there. So I'm Probably four miles away from Route 4 right now. But I'm dying of thirst. We can get some water up here, drink coffee, take some water to go. And then we'll push on to Route 4. What's up, buddy? You're not very stealthy. That's where I'm going, man. Alrighty, I'll see you later. All right, we got a little bit of a view here. It's always good. I like views. Is the saddlebacks be going over that tomorrow at a ski resort up there? We don't go by the ski resort, but you know what I'm saying. We're going over that mountain, saddleback, the horn, and saddleback junior it is on tomorrow's menu. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it up. Anybody had to guess? We're probably mile mile and a half from route four down to the road we go where i've already got a ride lined up from one of my favorite people bye please Yeah, it does make you wonder. You never know. That was an easy one. I had a backboard. <laughs> Anyways. End of the day recap, day 82. We left Bemis Mountain Lean To at 1956.2. We're now sitting at Main Route 4, the road that takes you right into Rangeley. 1973.9 makes it a 17.7 mile day, everybody. And we'll get down to the road. Well, actually, a mile before I got to the road, I ran into Katie, PR, and Bella. They hiked in to meet me. Um, then we got in her van. And we went to the scenic overlook where I met up with Mike Mahoney and his girlfriend, Margie. And I can't say it, thank you enough to Mike Mahoney. So we got to the out overlook there and he asked me if I was planning on staying in town. I'm like, I don't know if I can get a room, I will. And uh, <laughs> we came to the range and saddle back in 
and Mike actually paid for my room. Uh, then we got cleaned up and we all went out to dinner and he paid for dinner for everybody. And then he gave me a huge bag of resupply stuff. Like there's like six mountain house meals in there, some bunch of coffee, propel, spam, chicken. Man, there's a bunch in there. So I took what I needed to go for two days. Um, so I'm planning two days to get to Main 27, I believe it is. The road that takes you into Stratton or Carabasset Valley. I'm going into Carabasset Valley. Anybody that knows me, knows me, <laughs> knows that I'm going into uh, the hostel of Maine. So, well, plus Katie works there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the dealio. That's the rundown. Thank you, Mike Mahoney and Margie for coming out today. Always great seeing you, my friend. And it's awesome signing your hat again. With some of the great people on that hat. Maybe I'll throw a picture of that hat in here right now. Yeah. Pretty good signatures, huh? And um, I'll throw a picture of them in here right now. So thank you. Thank you again, Mike. Appreciate you. And... Uh, yeah, that's a wrap. Day 82. Like I said, I'm taking two days. I'm going to go over Saddlebacks tomorrow. Probably end up around Spalding Lean To tomorrow. And then the next day, go over Spalding, the Crockers, and then down to the road that takes me into Stratton, Carabasset Valley. So, yeah, day 82, 17.7 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby. You damn bug, get off there.